for joining and welcome to this video in the Tame and the Vengeland series. If you like this video, you might want to check out my other videos in the series. In this video, we're going to break down the patch behind the ambient sound you hear here in the background now, and also this techno tune. So here is a diagram showing the patch. Uh, we have two voices, both coming from the Benjolin using different outputs. Voice 1 is a lead melody. We have an unquantized CV sequence coming from the LADIC S183. And then we have gates from the LADIC S180, triggering an envelope on the dope for A140-2. Um, and the envelope is being pushed into the Vales VCA, or one channel on the Vales VCA. Voice 2 is a drone. Um, it has a, a slow reverse sawtooth envelope from the rampage, providing a bit of uh, a bit of variation to the sound. It uses the main output on the Benjolin, which is essentially the, the pulse width modulated output, but that output is pushed through an onboard state variable filter. There's some end of chain effects from the two FX, mo FX aid modules. And then um, ambient sounds or textures can be created with the sequencer, essentially the S180 stopped, or we can create techno rhythms by turning the sequencer on and playing around with that. So let's have a play around in this patch. Uh, you can hear both the ambient textures and the techno rhythms from this patch uh, in the videos linked in the description. Um, but let's get into how those sounds are generated. There are two main voices, um, both coming from the Benjolin, as I mentioned before. The first one is the lead sound. Um, and also, as I mentioned before, the Benjolin doesn't accept a voltage per octave input. So instead, we're using a, an unquantized CV sequencer. Here, are the S183 um, from LADIC. And we can tune the, the sound of the oscillator, in which, in this case, we're going into oscillator one. So we can choose the sound of the pitch of the oscillator by ear. So if we press play on this and ramp up the sound. Change the voltage just by changing the pitch. So we have to tune it by air, but let's have a play. introduce the, um, the second voice, the drone. So let's turn the lead down a little bit. So the drone, this is coming out of the, uh, the main out, and this is affected by the filter. So that means that we can, um, we can play around with the, the frequency of VCO2. And the, v the frequency of VCO2 actually drives the cutoff frequency or modulates the cutoff frequency in the state variable filter here. Um, in addition, um, the pulse width modulation output is created 
using um, the triangle wave from VCO1 and the triangle wave from VCO2, pushing both of those into a comparator, and then uh, that creates the, uh, the the pulse width, the pulse width modulated signal. So when we change the the frequency of oscillator 2, we're changing the character um, of the, the overall sound using the pulse width modulation. But additionally, we are changing the um, the cutoff frequency or modulating the cutoff frequency on the voice. So together we can get uh, three um, three different voices that are, that are either completely out of sync and sound crazy or uh, in sync and sound really nice. Now, the changes are very subtle though, so let's just turn it up a bit more. A bit of reverb. Play around and see what we can do. So as we increase the frequency here, you can hear the, the filter changing. Just change the frequency there so you can hear that happening. Play the resonance as well. So we can go up slowly and create a bit of craziness. Good for maybe building up to a transition. We can also go a little bit higher and then find some sweet spots. Something like that maybe. A bit higher. There are loads of sweet spots. You just have to be incredibly patient to find them. Um, so, uh, you might see a little bit of dipping as well. I'm just side chaining that. So, there's a little bit more room for. Um, for the, the quadrum uh, down here, kind of produce some beats. So you can hear, by making small changes to this, uh, you can make some very interesting character, characterful sounds. So if we um, introduce both voices now together, and then just balance out the, the volume and balance out the reverb, we can have a play and see what they sound like together and then uh, maybe play around with the filter a bit more. Thank you. 
So there you have it. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the patch. And if you're interested in learning more about the Bangalan and how to tame this mighty but crazy beast, then check back for more videos. Thanks for watching.